my background's actually in aerospace engineering, and I was always really enamored by the search for life in outer planets. And what I soon realized was that there was a lot of life in our oceans that we knew almost nothing about. And what we're starting to learn is how plastics impact that life. Well, I think there's a common misconception that plastics are only a surface problem in the ocean. Uh, what we're finding is that even in sediments uh, collected in the deepest parts of the oceans, there are plastics in them. And so there's an open question about how do these plastics that originally may start on the surface of our oceans, how they wind up to the bottom. So the question is actually pretty challenging to approach. We've got some excellent tools and techniques that we can employ. Um, one of these techniques is uh, the development of an instrument called Deep PIV where PIV stands for Particle Image Velocimetry. Deep PIV is an instrument uh, we developed here in Ambari. I'm a member of a team of engineers that have not only developed it, but built it and also deployed it. And what it allows us to do is to see organisms in the deep sea in a really different way using laser illumination. Using the DPIV instrument, we were able to observe for the first time uh, midwater filter feeders ingesting plastics. And these filter feeders are actually called giant larvations. They're about the size of uh, your palm. And these animals were able to not only ingest plastics, they also process plastics into rapidly sinking structures. And that has some serious implications for the plastics problem in the ocean in that it provides a mechanism or a gateway for plastics to move from the sea surface to the bottom of the ocean. What this means is that the story isn't over, right? These plastics have to go somewhere and now they're in a form that other animals might be able to readily eat. And those are animals that we might also eat ourselves. And so understanding the fate of plastics ultimately in the oceans does have an, a direct impact on us.